This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the old and the new subscribers Yeah man, some of the old subscribers they have been here with me from day one And we have also managed to um, capture the listening ears of some new subscribers So just gonna continue to put in the work So we have another cricket one here for you today guys Now viewers and subscribers, story come to bump West Indies selectors have named 26 players to participate in a best versus best four day practice match you know that will help them prepare for the test series against Sri Lanka yes viewers and subscribers you heard me right best versus best I don't know if they are just throwing the word around loosely or they are talking things into being but yeah man 26 um, players were named to um, take part in that practice match best versus best now viewers and subscribers the game will be played at the Coolidge cricket ground and you know as you can imagine they would have set up their biosecure bubble there already from the regional tournament so I am assuming that you know they are just um, trying to utilize the same thing so as to uh, kind of cut down and cost and all of that yeah man so boy <laughs> Viewers and subscribers, every time I say the name, I have to just smile. Best versus best. That's the name of the game. So we're going to go down and I'm going to go through the squads. Um, and, you know, just put up the squads on the screen so you can take a look at it. See the players that are in and then you will know the players that are out. Yeah, man, the game will actually be played um, from the 8th to 11th. Yeah man, so we'll start on the 8th and it is supposed to go up until 11th and as you can imagine it's a 4 day game. Yes viewers and subscribers, so as you can imagine most of the players that were involved in that test series victory over Bangladesh, they have managed to make um, one of the squads. So yeah, we're going to look at it. Now before we go down into the squads, let us um, go through something that the chief selector said. Now according to head selector Raja Harper, the best versus best game will give players a chance to um, get in some good practice, you know. Um, he also alluded to the fact that players that were involved in the Super 50 um, tournament will get a chance to prove their case. So, um, while we go through the squads, you will realize that a couple of the players that weren't involved in the Bangladesh tour, but were involved in the Super 50 um, that just concluded you know they would have been named um to take part in this little uh practice game that is set to go on now viewers and subscribers uh it's actually good to see that we are getting some cricket you know because we just finished with super 50 and now we're going straight into um this little four-day practice game then we're gonna go down into the sri lanka tour yeah man so that is that is actually good a lot of teams are still yet to get um, this amount of action that we have managed to get uh, since this whole um, big sea going on and all of that. So it's really good. We, we would have played um, England, New Zealand and, and, now we, 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 and Bangladesh and now we're getting ready to play Sri Lanka. So we are really fortunate. So, you know, we can't even complain too much about anything, whether the guys win or lose. But boy, viewers and subscribers, I just really... <laughs> I really love how the man them call this game best versus best. No, we're just gonna go straight down into the squad, guys, without um too much for too much delay. No, according to the chief selector, Mr. Harper, the squads are said to be um pretty good and the game will be very competitive. So I guess he's trying to say that boy, you know, is not the case where one squad is packed with the, the, the better players and will be going up against the weaker players. So um according to them, it's it's basically balance and thing like that. So uh now that we're going to go through the squads, we will be able to take a look at it for ourselves and see um if what he's saying is true. So the best versus best guys. We have squad A and we have squad B. Now, for squad A, um, Craig Brathwaite will be captain in that um, squad. And as you will remember, he was the captain over there in Bangladesh when we won that C um, test series the other day. Also, in that squad, we have Shamar Brooks, 
Rakim Cornwall, the spin wizard. <laughs> Joshua Da Silva, Derval Green. Good to see Derval Green getting an opportunity. Kian Hardin, Shamran Hetmaya. Yeah, man, so even though Hetmaya missed out on the, on the squads that were named the other day, we see him here. Um, his name is actually here in the to, to, to go to take part in this um four day game. Um, we also have Hodge, um, Paul Parma Jr. versus Samir Permal and Karen Powell. Now, it's actually good to see Powell uh, coming back into the four. Remember when he was um, very much uh, uh, in the mix as he regards to West Indies cricket. So, I guess he's way, working his way back. We also have, we also have Preston McSween and rounding off that squad there for squad a we have Jaden sears so those are the guys that are expected to take part as it regards to squad a craig brathwaite leading that squad so viewers and subscribers let me know what you think about that squad um guys squad a how strong do you think that squad is and you know do you think they will be able to put up a good challenge against this um squad b that i'm going to name now so leading squad b will be Rastan Chase, um, the half the half spinner. Uh, also in that squad we have Sunil Ambrose, Nkuma Banner, Jermaine Blackwood, John Campbell, Jamar Hamilton, Shemar Holder, Imran Khan is also there. We also have Marquino Minley. It's been a while since I've um, really heard about Marquino Minley. Um, a very good young cricketer. Uh, also there we have Shane Mosley, somebody that would have received um, a good amount of opportunity over there in Bangladesh but you know he wasn't able to to make much so he's there again Raymond Rifa who performed um well in the in the super 50 tournament that just concluded especially in the semi-finals and the finals think in the semi-finals he got 90 against the Windward Islands Volcanoes and in the finals against Trinidad I think he made something like 97 um yeah man i don't remember uh fully but i think he made 97 in that game um also running off the squad we have um neil smith uh jamal warikan that is our spin bowler that also did pretty well over there in bangladesh yeah man so viewers and subscribers those are the two squads the best versus the best i don't know if you guys agree with the with that name or i don't know if you guys um, are okay with the squads or you think that persons are missing but um, let me know what you think down in the comment section about about um, these two squads yeah man viewers and subscribers I don't know if there is any um, player that you guys believe should have been a part of this squad but you know the comment section is always open and free for you guys to express yourselves once you are doing it in a respectful way because you don't know how we do it here at Sports of the Bone you know we don't really like to disrespect each other. We like to keep the thing clean and keep the thing sports related. Don't really want to go down into any bag of foolishness and all of that. We just deal with sports and get it right down to the bone. As the channel suggests, sports to the bone, you know? Yeah, man. So, um, th those are the, the two squads, guys. Uh, I don't know how many persons were taking a look at Anderson Phillip. That, you know, he actually played for Trinidad and Tobago. Um, Red Force in that Super 50 tournament. He is somebody that I was very impressed with uh, throughout that competition there. Might have not taken the most wickets, but, you know, he bowled pretty well. Also, another one, Jordan. He also bowled uh, pretty okay in that tournament. But, uh, viewers and subscribers, you know, it's not like first time when I could just hammer away at the way at West Indies. Because you see, you see the mere fact that we are going through this situation all around the world right now. I'm um, not saying we have to take what we can get in, but a lot of the players probably aren't in the right frame of mind to perform to the level that we would want them to. Not necessarily trying to come up with any excuses for the players, but we still have to bear in mind that there are different um, situations that can impact a player's um, performance and all of that. Yeah, man, viewers and subscribers, but um, now that you have seen the squad, just go ahead and let me know what you think about it. Um, as regards to the T20 games that are coming up now, guys, that I would have um, looked at the the the, uh, the squads for yesterday. I think it was yesterday I went through the T20 squad. Now, the first T20 game will be played on March 3rd 
and the second one and the fifth the third one will be played on the seventh and you know we will go into the test as we go along and thing like that but um this best of the best game that is going to be played will be going on from the 8th of march to the 11th of march so viewers and subscribers make sure you stay tuned and you tune in to the best of the best game Boy, I was in this cricket just like KFC. Nobody does it better. Viewers and subscribers, big up on yourself. Have a wonderful day. Um, and as I said earlier, I really appreciate the fact that you guys take time out each day to listen to the videos and to share and to like. Because you know we are trying to grow the movement so we can um, reach more people as it regards to our content. Yeah, man. Sports to the bone. Keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share. Leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.